Most of us don't realize it, but in fact, in painkillers, almost 100 million doses a day are taken in America alone. This is a huge problem because it creates a lot of long-term health issues for people. There's a new drug in the market brought to the market by Antibe that has a new, totally new way of, of tackling this painkiller and anti-inflammatory challenge. How does it work? 90% of Americans, for example, take these anti-inflammatory painkillers, common drugs like aspirin, Advil, naproxen, Celebrex. It's a huge, huge market and a huge need. But as it has been known for 50 years, 25% of people who take these drugs get ulcers and bleeding. A serious issue. We're not talking stomach upset. We're talking, unfortunately, mortality, um, hospitalization, a huge issue. And it's actually a very well-known issue. It's very, very hard to solve because the same thing that causes the ulcers and bleeding is what gives you the anti-inflammatory pain relief. What we have done is we have added a molecule to these drugs that releases hydrogen sulfide, and the hydrogen sulfide provides the protection. And the results so far in humans are, are is quite dramatically great. Well, people, when people think hydrogen sulfide, that sounds like a bad thing. We're used, to, we're used to understanding that to be a really bad thing for your health. How does, in this context, it actually become something very positive? Y yes, yeah. you're, you're, you're right. Hydrogen sulfide has been known for 100 years as a poisonous gas, along with nitric oxide, and carbon monoxide comes out of the exhaust pipe of your car. Well, it turns out that our bodies produce these three molecules. And at the individual molecule level, they play fundamental roles in our bodies as, as signaling molecules. This won the Nobel Prize in Medicine in 1998. That laureate is, chairs our science advisory board. And my partner and our founder discovered that hydrogen sulfide actually is the body's main manager of inflammation. And inflammation, as you know, is behind a whole series of important diseases. We are tapping into the natural cellular repair and cellular protection and anti-inflammatory properties of hydrogen sulfide and bringing that to these painkillers. And in the immediate term, what does the go-to-market strategy look like for Anti? Partner with the large pharmaceutical companies because this, this would be a massive drug. We'd have you know, two billion people take these drugs and they, they need this solution. So our lead drug is for the general purpose chronic market, and in particular, osteoarthritis, which is a massive indication. We're all getting older and getting osteoarthritis. And Daniel, you're developing a new drug, a second drug, that's going to help address the opioid epidemic. It's such a tragic um, circumstance, the opioid crisis. We want to take a big bite out of that, and that is indeed our second drug. It's a super strong pain reliever. Doctors in many cases would dearly love to prescribe a strong NSAID instead of an opioid, but the strong NSAIDs are the most damaging to the GI system. Our second drug uses the same technology but provides that extra strong pain relief with no damage. You know, last year, for example, there were 50 million surgeries in the United States. 80% of these people are prescribed an opioid. That needs to change. A significant proportion of the opioid addiction can be traced back to a person's first use for post-operative pain. We want to take a big bite out of that, and that is the goal of our second drug.